to fly anything outside of the regular monthly schedule and you need it, and we still need it daily for confirmation what was called a flight safety assurance, which is frankly the UN just folding in front of the SPLA or the government of South Sudan and the opposition. Flight safety assurance meant that a flight needed to be kind of checked off by both sides um, saying, look, you know, we're taking off from here, we're going to go to there, we're going to do our thing. Normally not a problem, not a big deal. Big white UN helicopters and aircraft. Uh, for a special flight, it could become a problem. So, for example, we've had cases that had to be medevaced out, and it took to Juba, and it took about eight hours because of the bureaucracy and flight safety, and and we were lucky. Some of the people were they were actually pretty easy to stabilize, uh, including an appendectomy that had to fly somewhere else. Long story endless. If I got hurt. Uh, in a way where I need evacuation to Juba, it's going to be about an eight-hour process. If the weather's good, and if it's not on a weekend, because the SPLA and the opposition don't work weekends, and they like to drink, like who doesn't? And the other thing is, Juba airport's closed on weekends, but they will make exceptions sometimes for medevac or Kazavac flights. Well, actually, they'd be Kazavac in this case. So, yeah, there's no golden hour for me to get into a surgical facility maybe a golden day, maybe two, because I don't know what Juba has, and the next stop would be Nairobi or Uganda, or in the case of Canadians, Landstuhl in Germany. Um, and that's the stuff that's preventable. You get bitten by a poisonous snake, they don't have the antivenom, you're dead. You get in a motor vehicle accident just out of radio range, nobody's coming to get you. Um, most of the MLOs didn't have any first aid training and no first aid kits worth speaking about. We'd mitigate the risk, or you'd assume a certain degree of risk. But, yeah, we stopped patrolling on weekends. Don't get, don't get hurt on weekends was, was basically our mitigation strategy.